Here they are saying evaluate the integral from minus 1 to 2 for absolute x over x dx. Now, to evaluate the integral from minus 1 to 2, we first need to split the integral into two parts. Why? Because the absolute value of x changes its behavior at x equal to 0. And look at the integration here. It's from minus 1 to 2, so it's passing through 0. Now, for the part which is smaller than 0, for x is smaller than 0, in this case, you know that absolute x is going to be equal to minus x, which means that absolute x over x is going to be equal to minus x over x, which is going to be equal to minus 1. Now, for the part which is greater than 0, so let's say here x is smaller than 0, and for the part x is greater than 0, absolute x is going to be equal to x, which means that absolute x over x is equal to x over x, which is equal to 1. So now the integral from minus 1 to 2 for absolute x over x dx, we can split it into two parts. The first part from minus 1 to 0 for minus 1 dx plus integral from 0 to 2 for 1 dx which is going to be equal to, now, integral for minus 1, it's minus x from minus 1 to 0, plus integral for 1 is x from 0 to 2. And we can simplify. What do we get? We get equal to minus of 0, minus, for the rule, minus of minus 1. Plus, now here we say 2 minus 0, now simplify more, you get minus 0, which is 0. Now minus of minus of minus 1, which is going to be equal to minus 1 plus 2 minus 0 cancel. So you'll get minus 1 plus 2, which is equal to 1. If you want to confirm that by using calculator, you can go for the calculator. Press integral for fraction. We put shift abs. We put x over x. And we go for the boundaries is from minus 1 to 2, press equal, and the answer is 1. You believe it now, right? Because it is on the calculator. Okay, good. Now, if you need more 1400 plus questions, keep following me, and don't forget to like and share, and welcome to Math for Fun, and bye for now.